Revamping the stage for the festival couldn't have been easy, that's for sure. I bet this year's festival will be one to remember. I don't know much about the Grand Bazaar, but I do know that the residents here have a penchant for song and dance. <laughs> Two things that the Academia doesn't particularly approve of. Oh, and the perfume sold around here is a lot better than what you'll find elsewhere. The fragrances are longer lasting and they're gentler on your skin and... Uh, I mean, <clears throat> that's uh, what I've heard at least. Oh, she's trying to uh, act like a tough girl. And I bet I'm gonna skip these other ones. Huh, revamping the... St I don't know much about... Oh, and the perfume sold... Uh, I mean... <clears throat> Things are really shaping up, and there's a buzz around the festival this year. We're expecting people from all over to come by this year and buy things during the festivities. Okay, the head is kind of new, but the face... Don't be fooled into thinking that Sumeru City has the best of everything. Some festival snacks are only offered here in the Grand Bazaar. And when it comes to musicians, dancers, or singers, the Grand Bazaar's got the best of the best. Sure, those folks at the Academia might not like it, but what's a festival without song and dance? Whoa! What's with your yellow hair? And why do your clothes look so funny? Are you an outlander? Did you know that the Sabzerius Festival is about to happen? There'll be loads of fun things to do at the festival. But the best part is when Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, passes out candy to everyone. Ah, dancing at the Subzeru's festival. You know, I also danced when I was younger. As a child, I even asked my grandmother why we performed the dance for the Lesser Lord when it was originally done to honor the Greater Lord. My grandmother said that Greater Lord Rukadavata is a beloved deity and honored by all. And Lesser Lord Kusanali is too. If the Goddess of Flowers ever knew Lesser Lord Kusanali, then she would certainly have wished to be her friend and hold celebrations for her, too. The Subzerus Festival has been losing its appeal over the years. Hmm. That is, until a wealthy benefactor stepped in this year and brought the festival back to life. I heard she forked out a lot of Mora to make it all happen. It looks amazing. There's also something different about you from when we first met up. <laughs> I thought I'd add a little extra pizzazz to my dress for the festival. See? Wow, did you sew all that yourself? Uh-huh. Sewing is a fundamental skill for everyone in the theater company because we make all our own costumes. Did you know that Mr. Zubair not only can make costumes, but props, too? <laughs> I've noticed that you can't keep your eyes off that crown over there. Would you like to try it on? <laughs> May I? Of course. The legends say that the goddess of flowers had beautiful horns on her head. So this crown was made to reflect that. Ah, <sighs> oh, Dunya Zod. You look absolutely stunning with it on. It's like I'm looking at the Goddess of Flowers herself. Hey, you could not use a CD for this. Hey! Is that who Paimon thinks it is? It looks like... Catherine! She's out of her... box. Behind the counter at the Adventurers Guild. 
This is the first time we've ever seen her taking a break. Hey, Catherine. Hmm? Oh, hey. It's the Traveler and Paimon. What's shaken? Whoa. Break time Catherine sure sounds a lot less formal than usual. Paimon was still waiting for her to say Ad Astra Abyssosk. Sure. <laughs> Standing behind the counter at the Adventurer's Guild doesn't require any complicated functions. But saying and doing the same old things over and over again can get pretty monotonous. Like watching the same Fontaine movie day after day. Say what now? Fontaine movie? They make movies? You were in Fontaine? Okay, what's the deal with... Captain. But take you two, for example. You travel across to Vat to enrich your lives and gain new experiences. Well, we enjoy traveling across to Vat and all that, but we're mainly looking for clues about his sister. Yes, you should keep searching. Sometimes the answers we're looking for aren't necessarily at our intended destination. Instead, they're found along the way. Huh. Haven't we heard someone say something pretty similar recently? Uh, anyways, what brings you out here, Catherine? No, not particularly. I guess you could say that I'm loving the recent atmosphere here. If festivals bring happiness to everyone, then that's where their true value lies. Oh, it looks like it's about time for me to be heading back now. Alright, we'll see you next time at the Adventures Guild. Oh, by the way, thanks for connecting us with the Aramites. We've already made some great friends in Sumeru City thanks to you. I'm sure you two will get along well with the people here. You've already been blessed by the element of Dendro, after all. <laughs> See you around! Hmm. There's something really different about Catherine today. Hey, Traveler. Paimon. Oh, hey, Dia! What's going on? I've got something to tell ya. My lady knows you're looking for ways to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali, and she's been trying to come up with a way to help you. Well, I have an idea that might help. Are you serious? We'd love that! It might not necessarily pan out, so don't get your hopes up too much. I'll need to take you two somewhere and ask someone some questions. Uh, my lady is feeling a little worn out at the moment. Nilu's found a place for her to rest. After I take my lady home, let's meet in front of the Citadel of Regzar. Sounds like a plan! Let's head over to the Citadel of Regzar and wait for Dia! <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. It took some convincing for the master and mistress to believe that Miss Dunyarzad was only sitting in the port for a while because she was in a bad mood. Anyway, I guess I should be thanking you. I haven't seen Miss Dunyarzad that happy in a long time. If it wasn't for you two, she probably would have been caught and dragged back much earlier. You sure sound a whole lot nicer than when we first met, Dia. Who would have thought you had such a soft spot for Dunyarzad? It's called being a professional. I'm a bodyguard, and I work for whoever's paying. <laughs> Look, Dia's blushing. Yep, she's Yula, but Pyro. Listen, you two. I don't expect to be working for Miss Dunyarzad very long, but I hope to finish things on a positive note if possible. Let's cut the chit chat and head into the Citadel. We'll see if the person I know has a way for you two to meet with the Lesser Lord. Oh, 
Oh, hey, Chief. Ah, <laughs> did ya? What are you doing here? And well, well, didn't expect to see you three together. <laughs> I take it you all know each other already? After the Adventurers Guild pointed us to Ozfan for more info. No kidding. Huh. So, where's Ruksha? I thought I'd help these two out by asking about the theft. Anything you can tell him? What the? Ruksha's gone over to the Academia. The Grand Sage recently ordered Sumero City to begin bolstering its defenses. So people from all over have been called back to the city. <clears throat> Since you've already mentioned the theft, I suppose I might as well tell him what we know. Appreciate it, Chief. Uh, theft? Sorry, what the heck are you guys talking about? Just recently, the Academia lost something. And there's a chance the item is connected with the Dendro Archon. This case might just somehow help you in meeting her. <laughs> I suppose that's one way to look at it. But if you ask me... The case is more about the Academia than anything else. Let me fill you in. The Academia recently sent a convoy to pick up an important package from Aru Village. Word got out, and the convoy was robbed on its way back. The Grand Sage took the whole matter very seriously. Not only did he dispatch the Matra, but also enlisted our help in the search for leads. All we know so far is that whatever was stolen is currently in Port Ormos. You two have heard of Port Ormos, haven't you? It's the largest commercial port in all of Sumeru. You can travel there by leaving Sumeru City and heading south along the river. The Academia's grip isn't long enough to reach all the way to Port Ormos, so the city's a little more laid back, meaning the population's also a mixed bag. You never know who you'll meet there. Apparently, what was lost has a great deal to do with the Akasha, knowledge, and even the gods. I'm afraid I don't have any other details for you, though. If you're interested, maybe you can head to Port Ormos and ask around yourselves. If you want my advice, try introducing yourselves as students of the Academia once you're there. Are you serious, Chief? All the Academia students are in Sumeru City, you know. Why should they pretend to be students in Port Ormos? <laughs> if you're also interested, just go there and see what happens. <sighs> Count me out. I've got plenty of work to do here for the Homayani family. And take it from me, if you two really do decide to visit Port Ormos, you'd best watch your backs. Let's just say that the Eremites there aren't nearly as friendly as those here in Sumeru City. There are even some extremists who go around shouting slogans like Retake Sumeru for the Scarlet King. Word is that more and more are joining their movement. They're becoming a real headache for Chief and the others. You bet they are. The Scarlet King's been dead for thousands of years. Now they start spreading rumors of his return. Who is Scarlet King, Akuma? Not everyone's like you, Chief. Even the desert natives who abandon their homes in the wilderness still wish to have a god of their own. <sighs> well, Traveler, that's about all the information we have for you. Thanks, Dia! And you too, Osfond! Since we've gathered all we could for the moment in Sumeru City, let's head to Port Ormos and see what we can find next! Miss Dunyarzad is looking forward to seeing you both at the Subzerus Festival, so be sure to get yourselves back here in time for that. Good. Then we'll see you both at the Subzerus Festival. Ooh, the, there's a long way. There's a long route to take. Just activate that. <laughs> Come 
Come and have a good look yourself. Traditional spices of the highest quality, made with pride and experience. <laughs> You've got a deal. I can't thank you enough for always looking after my business. Believe me, I'm not making this up. Several Eremite mercenary groups are nearly in open conflict, but does the core of 30 care? <sighs> and that's not all. Did you know that... Wow! Talk about hurly burly! This place is busy! Oh, guess that's only to be expected for the largest port in Sumeru. Uh, maybe it's because of what Dia told us earlier, but... Paimon can't seem to shake the feeling that there's also danger lurking in these crowds. Ooh. Let's get our bearings so we can start looking for leads. We know that whatever the Academia lost is related to the gods. But other than that, we don't have much else to go on. Hmm. Osfun told us to try posing as Academia students while asking around. Paimon checked the Akasha on the way here, and the Academia doesn't seem to have any research facilities in Port Ormos. Paimon doesn't get it. Won't we look even more suspicious going around saying we're Academia students and asking about the stolen item? Well, given all the people that come through here every day, if there's any information to be found, Paimon bets we could find it in the market. Let's ask around and see what we come up with. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, how can I help you two? Uh, hi there. We would like to ask you a question. Um, do students from the Academia ever come to Port Ormos? <laughs> of course. Especially around this time of year. Students from Sumeru City that are about to graduate often come to Port Ormos to cut loose a little. Many people often talk about how hard it is to get accepted into the academia, let alone graduate. But those who finish their studies and go on to become full-time researchers at the academia have it even harder. Sure, we may not be Sumero City, but Port Ormos offers beautiful scenery and a stress-free environment. Some even say it's good luck to come to Port Ormos, so students and researchers come flocking here when things get to be too much at the Academia. Ah, you see over there? Those are students from the Academia. They've been looking worried and miserable ever since they got here a few days ago. If you ask me, the life of a merchant is better. So long as the Akasha teaches us what we need, then life is good. Hmm. Those students seem to be discussing something. Let's see if we can listen in. <laughs> it's no good. I've tried asking around, but I haven't been able to learn anything useful. Not to mention that a bunch of scary-looking Aramite mercenaries have been posted along the streets now. There's been a lot of fighting between the different Aramite factions in Port Ormos. If we choose to move on our own, then it would be wise to steer clear of them. Especially the group that's constantly shouting some stuff about the Scarlet King and some resurrection. I've even heard that the Citadel of Regzar is starting to get fed up with them. What was that group called again? Ein something or other? They're called Ein El Akhmar. Today, I heard that the thing we're after might be in their possession at the moment. Wait, come again? Wait a minute. Do these guys look familiar to you guys? Don't you see? Many of the Aramites in Port Ormos deal with trading this kind of thing. Wait a minute. Is this the three NPCs from Eula's quest? I actually have to pull up that video and see. They're actually reusing these characters, these specific dicks here. I think the this one wasn't gray hair, but the rest are kind of in the same style. 
They're usually pretty wary of outsiders, but not so with students of the academia. It's because the kind of goods that students are looking for aren't the kind of goods that Aramites are after. As long as they know you're a student, then deals can be made. I've heard that Ein al Hakmar likes to set up shop at the Jafar Tavern. Supposedly, if you're willing to part with half a million Mora, they'll give you info on anything. Wait, wait, did you say half a million? If information alone costs that much, then how could we ever afford to buy what we're looking for? <sighs> I guess we might as well give up on trying to graduate this way. I wouldn't worry too much. Our field of research is very niche. Who else could possibly be after that kind of shady knowledge? I bet it's practically worthless to anyone aside from us. Well, I guess that makes sense. Then the only thing left for us now is to find a way in. Why don't we all just pool our money together and pay for the information? Whoa! Did you hear that? A niche field of research and shady knowledge? It all sounds pretty suspicious to Paimon. Is knowledge something people just buy and sell like that? So, what's your plan? Wait, didn't you hear what they just said? Buying information is going to cost us half a million mora! Have you lost your mind? Alright, Paimon never thought she'd agree to parting with that kind of mora. But if you know what you're doing, then we should give it a shot. This is the place we heard those students talking about. Let's find a seat somewhere and see if we can spot the group they mentioned. Oh, you've arrived. Please, take a seat. So, they think that they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the boss? Ha! <laughs> Once we reclaim the power of the Scarlet King, they'll be the first that the boss punishes. <laughs> they're nothing to be afraid of. Our main rival now is the Caracal Battalion. They've also amassed a significant amount of more this time, so we mustn't underestimate them. How can the Caracal Battalion compete with the boss when they're nothing but a bunch of money-grubbing opportunists out for a quick mora? Yeah, with boss's fervent devotion, he'll be able to use this power to bring our god back this time. Huh. All these guys talk about is the Scarlet King, so they're probably the ones we're looking for. <laughs> Greater Lord Ruka Devata. That traitor and her followers must not be spared. The day will come when the Scarlet King exacts vengeance on Sumeru, and all of them shall be punished. Yeah, Paimon was wondering what they meant too. We should ask about that if we get the chance later. Really? We gonna just ask him them? Okay, make your bet. Is gonna be a fight or not? Hey guys. <laughs> 